so today I'm going to be re testing out and reviewing this Revlon volumizing brush. And I'm very excited to try. I've been hearing rave reviews about it. I think it's like the Revlon version of the Dyson Airwrap minus like that curling feature. Anyways, this mommy group that I'm in. And when I checked Amazon, hopefully this is a real deal. Uh, when I checked Amazon, it was um, it's on sale for like $36 as opposed to the original $56. And so I was like, yeah, why not? Um, I'll let you in on a little secret. This isn't actually my first time using this. I recorded myself uh, using this for the first time on Saturday a couple days ago. But then I didn't like the footage and so I wanted to film it again and so I actually really like it. I would give it a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I like the final product. There are minor changes that I would actually make to this product but overall I think it's great. The price point is wonderful and um, it's nice because you could get the back of the head straight instead of in some like weird angle. Let's get started or cooking let's get cooking so the three products I'm going to be using for my blow dry with the Revlon brush is the Kristen as leave-in conditioner is this focusing is this focusing is it focusing oh maybe to my face anyways Okay, it's the leave-in conditioner. I love it. I've gone through several bottles of these and I just like how light it is as well as um, it makes dry, uh, brushing your hair so easy. Uh, the next is Wave. The next is Wave. This is a tongue twister. Next is Wave Wave Spray. I like this because it adds a little bit of uh, volume. I feel like it gives a nice little stiffness, texture, volume at the roots if you spray it uh, for a blow dry. So I, I really like using this for blow drying. And because my ends are so fried, I'm using the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. This has rave reviews, so. And my ends are dry. And then I'm going to be brushing my hair with a tangle teaser. I love this time. This is the best, 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 best brush I have ever used because I like, it's like, doesn't pull your hair that much. If it's like, usually it's very gentle, you'll see it when I brush through. Like my hair is matted and dry, but it's very easy. It doesn't tug. I would hold, if you have some tangles or mattiness, I would hold the hair in place and then brush. That way, it only pulls from this section and not the root, and that's where it hurts. Okay, a little tip for you there. So, and then I think most people, uh, well, I, I don't know. But I like to brush the ends and then work my way up instead of starting at the root and then like getting this like massive tangleness. Tangleness, is that a word? So I had wrapped my hair in the towel and I do not recommend this. You know why? Because I feel like it gives us this weird lift at the root, like right here, which I don't like. I'm hoping that the brush will get it out. Ready to get this started. This paddle brush is very big. It almost hurts my arms kind of big, but uh, I think it works pretty well. So I'm going to be dividing my hair into three sections. This is my non-lazy blow dry method. My lazy blow dry method would be just two sections. So I'm gonna do this section. 
section and then so right off of that I think this is this product is best used when your hair is about 70% dry because it's like a uh, round volumizing brush but it's not like a full strength blow dryer which is much stronger so if your hair is about mine's still very wet it's probably like 20% dry but if you're about 70 it's still a little wet but it's starting to dry it's a good that's a good time I should add that the paddle is really hot it's almost like a curling iron surface it's not plastic it's like a like a curling iron surface so that paired with the brush paired with the hot air it gets you a really nice smooth blowout you're in the back easy because you're not like trying to hold the blow dry a certain way trying to do like the tw twist twist the spin of the round brush and so that simultaneously with blow drying it's very hard to do <laughs> The most important section the top I'm gonna kind of do it off center because I feel like I have a round face and so a middle part is not always like the most flattering but I do it anyways because I like how relaxed uh, I like how relaxed a middle part looks in the last couple years I've been going to Anko Tran who is this amazing hairstylist out of LA and he travels up to San Francisco and he's amazing and I learned a few things by watching his work um, I think how you blow dry is very important you want to get a, like a nice lift and so uh, I'll show you what I learned from him so when I see his assistants blow drying hair what they do is they blow dry it in all different directions and so it gives like a nice even lift it's not like oh it looks like it's coming forward or it looks like flat and then round or so I think that's the same thing. So all directions all directions I think you'll notice the biggest difference in this section right here. Should I do such a big section? I'll do it anyways.
why I need. No, I think this is fine. There's a little bit of lift. I don't like too much volume. I don't want to look like I'm stuck in like the 90s or the 2000s. So a little bit of volume, but not too much. This kind of, if you like kind of keep going in at the bottom, it reminds me of like a Jennifer Aniston blowout. Where it's like, oh, it's just good. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a little more on this side. So after using it today, I actually like today's results of the blowout much better than the first time I used it. The ends, which is very, very dry for me, look smoother. Uh, as opposed to the first time I used it, it still it didn't have like that sneak sneakless sleekness that I wanted. It was good overall. I still really liked it, but I really like the results of today better. And I think it's because I went a little bit harder. Ah, uh, so what things would I change about this? Not, okay, so I don't like these plastic tips. I think if this was all board bristle, I would have liked it more, but I understand why they did this because I feel like the plastic tips, I think it's for people who have like thicker, coarser hair. And so in order to really get to the root and feel it, I, I think this was necessary. Um, but I also think I would have liked a boar bristle or a synthetic boar bristle because that's what I'm used to when I'm blow drying my hair. I would give it, first time I used it, I would give it an 8. Today I used it, I would give it a 9. Uh, it is very massive, but I think to get the volume that you want, they needed to make it this big. Because if it was small and you just brushed it through, it would have uh, ended in like a more flatter result. So overall, I dig it. I really, really dig it. And it's really is so much easier to do because you could just pull it straight back, which is like hard to do if you have like a blow dryer. You can't do this situation. I said I was only going to use these three products, but I'm going to also add some texturizing spray because I can't live without this stuff. First, I thought I put off using this for so long because I thought it was like a gimmick because it's so expensive for what it is and how fast you would end up using it. But once I started using it, I, I just I haven't used another product. I love it. Anyway, love it. Definitely worth the $36 that I paid. Also even worth $50 because it's going to be so much easier using this. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Should I do like another clip where I'm like changed into actual clothes? Nah. Oh, I should add that a lot of people put on makeup to film videos and I am like the laziest person because I'm like, oh, I don't want to put makeup on because I have to like, you know, Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. If you have any suggestions for topics or reviews that you'd like us to try, feel free to leave it down below. 